This is Cecilia O'Reilly, and welcome to another episode of Grounded Catholicism. Today we're going to talk about acts. And no, not men's deodorant. Though we are going to be talking about being in the desert, you do get pretty sweaty, hot, and gross. If you had access to deodorant, you'd probably need a lot of it. But no. Acts in the sense of scripture, Acts of the Apostles. And specifically, we're going to talk about chapter 8, which was the uh, reading in Mass today. St. Philip is called out into the desert road from Jerusalem to Gaza. Wait. Desert? We just got out of the desert. Why are we going back to the desert? I mean, 40 days in the desert for Lent. I mean, Christ rose. It's time to put our feet up by the water and enjoy the fruits of redemption. Yeah? Yeah. No. Specifically because Christ rose that we're called to go back into the desert. And this story in Acts illustrates exactly why. So what happens? St. Philip out on the desert road, probably for days, sweaty, hot, and gross, and in need of deodorant, probably saying, Lord, where are we going and what are we doing? All of a sudden sees an Ethiopian eunuch reading scripture. And prompted by the Spirit, what we think of probably now as a little angel on his shoulder, tells him to go over and speak to him. So he runs over and says, do you understand this? The Ethiopian turns to him and says, how can I if there's no one here to instruct me? Then inviting him to journey with him, starts asking him all these questions. And St. Philip, let me tell you about this Jesus dude who just rose and can answer all of those questions and queries that he has and misunderstandings. As they're journeying in the desert, they encounter water and the Ethiopian asks to be baptized. That's why we're called out to go out into the desert because people are thirsting out there and we have this incredible news that can nourish them. But it's hard. We kind of want to stay by the water, by the oases, you know, where it's comfortable. And this desert's kind of scary. But we have incredible news to go and share with the world. And the faith is not something for us to keep in possession for ourselves, but it's a gift to be given. Dr. Warren Carroll, a Catholic historian, says, at this point in history, Christendom only exists in small self-contained pockets. But as a Christian in these places, we're not called to settle there, to hide there. We have a message to share with the world. The world is the desert. We think, okay, well, I'll go out into the desert, but it's kind of far away. I don't think I can make it. Just as St. Mother Teresa tells us to find a Calcutta wherever we are, it's the same with the desert. Find the desert wherever we are, because it's all around you, and there's a thirst for that message everywhere. Pope Francis says, to be a disciple is to share the love of Christ with others at any point, anywhere, unexpectedly. Sometimes this is on a street. Sometimes it's in a city square, on a journey, on a journey in the desert. So go out, don't be afraid. The Lord is with you and be a witness and share that faith with others who are thirsting for it. We're out of time for today, so tune in next time. And in the meantime, enjoy life, but live for eternity.